It's finally officially confirmed. The next character we're getting in Global is Eda, a supporter character that deals assisting attacks and actually quite decent damage as well. Similar to Gloria, she's a hybrid that will be acting as a supporter and damage dealer. So let's talk about her kit, what you need to build her, and if it's worth pulling for her or not, depending on your current situation and your account. As usual, hello, the internet. Welcome back to the Wakus. I'm Sefi. Today's topic, Eda. The next character we're getting in three days. On the 16th is when we will start being getting in this banner so two three days we're gonna be able to pull we have right now a hundred pulls more or less and we're getting tomorrow remember another multi thanks to the game milestone event i'm just hoping that i don't have to spend money and go to full pt for this character i like her but we're getting a lot of really cool units remember that after her we're getting simona safilla august so characters that are really really powerful when it comes to the tier list i'll make a separate video because we are updating a lot of stuff for this next version when edda is coming out so when that's done i'll make a separate video but right now should you pull for her or not if you already have a strong support characters like inanna and gloria if you have inanna edda can be a really good hybrid support dps for your team if you already have gloria however i would not consider pulling for edda at least right now because you already have a character that it's really really strong and it's not only one of the best supporters in the game but also a really decent dps it also depends on what teams and what factions you want to build if you want to go for drifters area or discipline she's pretty good if you prefer the union or aggression then you can stick with gloria i i already have gloria personally and i have her fully built i will keep her on my main team but i will be pulling for edda because it's one of my favorite characters in terms of looks every time we get a waifu i shall be pulling when it comes to her skills if you want to know all her kit and what she does i already made a video two days ago three days ago as you can see here uh the she's insane and a complete guide and build sort of combo area and in here i explain all her skills so if you want a tldr which you already can see here as you can see her trait will perform assisting attacks that deal physical damage to enemies surrounding her this is really powerful because there is multiple pieces of gear you can use to increase this damage even further and that's what we'll be showing in a second as well her kit is basically purely support skills assisting attack skills and some really cool buffs she also summons a box yeah she summons a box i will always find this funny this skill summons a box and you can put it on the field which by the way as you can see with her passives every time she is actually in cover or there is an item near her she will gain attack and that's why it's so cool <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a cool synergy i will say so if you already have a character like for example gloria i would not pull for her she's not a mandatory character to get if you have inana only and you're looking for an extra buff for your team she's really powerful again not only as a buffer but also as a dps character now the updated tier list i'll make a separate video for that that's not important right now let's talk about the build that you want to be using for edda since she actually uses a bow just like you will so there is multiple bows you will be able to use but there is one that is going to be the strongest one for her as you saw with her passive and let me open this back her passive consists on doing assisted attacks and this will proc once or twice depending on how many dupes you get for edda i will suggest only going for one dupe and farming the rest of her time do not go for multiple copies if you're a multiplayer player but since it focuses on doing assisted attacks i would suggest going for something like the Irian combat bow which increases your physical attack and deals 10 percent more damage when not in the character's turn so every time you do an assisted attack that counts as not being on your turn meaning you're doing a 10 percent increase attack if you are as unlucky as me and you bought this bow to four stars this will be a 4% increase in physical attack and a 15% increase in damage when not in the character turn. Now, I will not say it's lucky because I want more weapons, but this game keeps giving me this specific bow for some reason. But this is what I will be using on my Edda and I will be leveling this up later. Another pretty good option is of course going to be the Steel Crossbow since this is a free weapon you can get just by playing the game. And this ignores 12% of the target's defense. If you have even more stars on this, this will ignore even more defense up to 20 25% which is pretty good honestly. when it comes to accessories you all know this really depends on what you have as you can see in my case I've been getting the same accessories over and over again so I will most likely be using the true lens since overall it's pretty good for the snipers and for archers even though for Eda specifically it's not going to be as impressive and then when it comes to the tarot set that you want to use there is only one that will actually really benefit Eda and it's this one right here the destruction of the tower when it's not the character's turn damage dealt increases by 20 percent this is really really strong now my problem is as you can see that i did not get good stats because she is physical attack and i got a magic attack and a physical attack and then physical defense so those are not good roles i need to find a different one for example here magic attack complete chop 
Do I have any other? Oh, one here. Magic attack, once again. One more here. Magic defense, magic defense, physical attack. Okay, this could be one, even though this is gold, but this could be one. So let's actually go to level 15, since that's when it gets revealed. Come here. Oh, sorry, level 20 when I need to go. And let's pray to the gods that we get a physical attack percentage. Uh, yeah. Not too good, honestly. This 57 is really bad because it's a gold piece. I'll try to get a different one. If we cannot get the different one, we'll stick to this one, even if it's not the best one. Again, a 20% increase every time it's not her turn. And that will proc multiple times since you are also doing her, pass her passive attack when it comes to the trade. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the materials you will need to actually get her from level 1 to whatever you are right now. But when it comes to the medals, you will need around 20, uh, I think it's 29, 30 bronze medals, 28, 29 or 30 as well silver medals, and around 10 gold medals if we consider rank 8, which is level 40, where I am right now. If you're going further than this, because you've been refreshing the stamina and you're well, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. But for most people, rank 7, rank 8, what you will need is 30 bronze medals, 30 silver medals, and around 10 gold medals, which is pretty simple. There is another resource you can use for this, but I do not recommend it. Okay, so I had to come to the battle pass so I can show this to you, but there is also this material, this primordial dust, you could be using for the rank upgrades and the gear breakthrough. I would not use a lot of this, uh, but if you're in a pit and you need a couple of ranks, feel free to use some. Still, I will save this for now since we will need this for when we unlock the engraving system for the gear at chapter 8. We'll make a separate video on that when the time comes. That's still far away considering campaign only goes to chapter 6 right now. So... <laughs> All that said, that's going to be the preparation for it. There is a lot of characters coming out. In my opinion, it's a strong support. But if you re-roll for Gloria, even though they feel completely different roles, I would say you could skip her and go for different characters. Since Safija and August are actually must pull characters T0. So that said, that's going to be it for this one. Just wanted to talk a little bit about Eda, how you can prepare for her. And hopefully we get news soon on what's coming after this. I'm also interested in seeing how long these banners are going to be, the standalone banners, and how much they're gonna be skipping because we're already skipping a lot of banners all that said that's gonna be for this one thank you to my patrons for getting this content possible love you all bosses have a great day good luck with your pool the internet i'll see you in the next one